The Toyota Fortuner is an unusual vehicle, as it combines the features of a four-wheel drive with a high lux hybrid feel, however, despite having the ability to accommodate seven passengers, it lacks the excitement of its pickup truck counterpart. Although the combination of four-wheel drive capabilities, seating arrangement, and elevated ride height should make for a compelling package, the Fortuner seems to occupy an awkward position in Toyota's SUV lineup. The Fortuner stands tall at 1,835 mm, with almost slab-like sides that are squared off at the back, the chunky C-pillar and dark windows add to its rugged appearance, but the front end is more attractive with a nicely tapered hood. The interior of the Fortuner is typically Toyota, with everything in its expected place, but it lacks the wow factor that modern consumers have come to expect, the prevalence of hard plastics throughout the cabin only serves to highlight this. In a market where technology, interior trims, and ambience are constantly improving, the Fortuner's interior may be considered a bit disappointing. Despite this, there is a certain level of comfort in seeing traditional features such as a gear shifter, handbrake, and manual clock in an off-road vehicle. The first and second rows provide the most spacious accommodations, while the third row is best thought of as occasional seats, individual storage options in the Fortuner are good, featuring a double glove box, a cooled middle console, two cup holders, and drink bottle holders in the first and second rows, there are also two retractable cup holders in the dash, which is a nice touch. The Fortuner's boot space is on the smaller side, and the way the third row stows on the side can encroach on the space, creating a large blind spot on the already chunky C pillar. With all three rows in use, there is only 200 liters of cargo capacity available, but stowing the third row will increase this to 716 liters for maximum cargo capacity. The middle seats can also be folded, increasing the available space to 1,080 liters. Overall, the Fortuner is a solid choice. But there are some points to consider for long-term use, as we've mentioned, the engine provides enough power for off-road adventures, and I particularly appreciated the torque, which makes it easy to maintain a consistent speed on hills. However, the steering can feel heavy at lower speeds, which gives the vehicle a dated feel and can make it cumbersome to maneuver in tight spaces like car parks. Thank you for watching.